Hello everyone. Happy Monday. Today is January 17th and today I decided to vlog. Actually today we are going to be making some keto cupcakes that I pick up at Walmart. These are uh, the stuff that I'm going to be making and I'm excited to share this experience with you guys because I am looking forward to it. As you can tell, I am all about keto, low carb stuff. I like to try out different food and let's see how it goes. Um, those of you who have not been subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe to it now so that you don't miss out any upcoming videos in the future. And those of you who have been subscribed, I appreciate you. I see you. I thank for the support. Now let's get in straight so to the kitchen. Here we have our three ingredients. We have eggs, water, and oil. And we are going to transfer them here and we are going to mix them. Now we are going to add the water in, the oil, and then we are going to add the eggs. And then, now we're going to add our mix in it. So now that we added our mix, we are going to mix. Now is all right. Mix. Here it is. My silicone pan is already uh, in with the cupcake liners, and now we are ready to transfer the mix into the cupcake liner. Well, the way I like to transfer the mix is using a cookie scooper. I'm gonna go one by one. Ready to put them in the oven and we are going to let them cook for well actually bake <laughs> we're gonna actually let them bake for 20 to 22 minutes and once we know they're ready we're actually gonna stick in something in there like a toothpick or um, a fork to see if if it comes out clean if it comes out clean then that means it's ready and if it's not then it needs a little bit it's more time, time for them so. to go into the oven at 350 Alright. It's a chocolate. I'm gonna open it. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna be using this cup. The whip is like a little thick. You can see it. Alright. Now I'm going to fold it. Press it down. And I'm gonna cut it. Coming out. Alright, cool. Bravo. Alright, so I got a fork now and I'm going to pick it and see if it's clean and if it is, then it's ready to go. Yes, it's clean. We're going to let it cool. So now they're already cooled down and I'm ready to put the frosting on top of the cupcake. I'm going to add the frosting. All right, 
let's go on to the next one. Add another one. I'm gonna keep on going. Look at that. All right, we finally got them all 12 on here. I am ready to give one a try. All right, guys, so we finally did our 12 cupcake. I am going to taste it. Open it. I would say that the whipped cream is not really like whipped cream. Like, it doesn't come out like it, but I mean... On the other ones it did, like this one came out nicer. It came out a little nicer. This one came out like it was a poop emoji. Like as you can see, it looked like a poop emoji. This one came out too like a poop emoji too. Yeah, so I'm ready. Let's take our first bite. Very different. Very light. Hmm. Oh, okay. But it's nothing like actual cupcake. I'll tell you that. I mean, I can go on with another one. I mean, it's only 110 calories for the whip. And then for the mix, it's only 130 calories. Which, honestly, it's only 140. I mean, 240. Yeah. So it's not bad, it's 240 in total. I mean, no, it's not, it's not. But, like I said, nothing like actual cupcake. If these are good, I would go in for another bite, which I'm gonna go in for another bite. It was good, it was light. It wasn't too heavy, it didn't feel like so sugary. You are on a diet, or if you are just trying to you know, eat healthy, and you're not really trying to have too much sugar, well, this is your go-to keto cupcake. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I see you next time.